Marketing ace, follow his lead to the winning place with AI McCullough spin. Join him now, learn to win. Learn his way, don't delay. If you do, you'll make your fortune today. Hey, welcome to the show. Of course, I'm Bill McIntosh, the guy who's going to be telling you all about using AI in your business, in growing brand new businesses, starting, maybe you're just getting started with this whole internet marketing, online marketing thing, and I'm here to help you with that. That's what this show is all about. I've made it my mission in life to help as many entrepreneurs as possible be successful online. And we're supposed to be live, so let me check in with chat. So chat, are you here with me? Give me a big hello if you're here in the chat, and let's make sure that we are indeed live and that everything is kicked off and we're in action. So let me just check here and I see, okay, we got some hellos coming in, some big howdies. Hello, hello, howdy, hi there. Good, good, awesome. Well, that is fantastic. So uh, yes, I've got an action packed show for you today. We have three segments we'll be doing during our live broadcast along with live Q and A and everything I can do to help you grow your business or maybe if you don't yet have a business, I'll help you start your first business. It's all about being successful as an entrepreneur. Awesome. Well, I am glad to be here with you. And of course, we got producer Nick off in the background, and um, we're we'll be going to be getting right into it. So today, we have some very powerful topics to cover. So one of, one of them is going to be all about how do you actually charge high ticket prices for things if you're a brand new beginner without committing fraud? which is what some people would tell you to do, but that's not what I'm gonna say. Instead, I'll show you how you can do, be a brand new beginner, start a marketing agency, charge high ticket prices, and not have to be unethical, and to actually get to be, be cool, be ethical, and make a lot of money while doing it. We're gonna talk about that. Plus, I'm gonna go over what the number one, this is according to my opinion, you know, I've, I have done $100 million in revenue on the internet. So I, I do have a little experience of doing this over two decades. And I'll tell you what, in my opinion, is the number one single most powerful, what's called a lead magnet. In order, otherwise, what you would give away for free to people to get them to become a lead or get them to join your mailing list or your subscriber list. There's one particular kind of lead magnet that you can give away that is far more powerful than anything else. And I'll show you what it is, and then we'll talk about how to use AI to build it. It's pretty easy to do. I'll show you that in uh, the other segment. And then finally, we're gonna be doing some case studies. We have, count them, five examples of people who created courses. And of course, now what I teach is how to use AI to do this, but they created courses, some with AI, some the old fashioned way, um, and they went on to make tons of profit, some of them hundreds of thousands, others millions of dollars in profit. I'll show you how five unique people did it in five different ways to get some ideas and insight into how maybe you could make your own course business. And it's very easy to do. And if you do it right, you can do it in markets that you're not an expert in. Again, without doing that weird stuff where you have to fake being a guru, instead, I'll show you how you can do it ethically in any market even ones that you're not an expert in. We'll talk about that as well. So that is the lineup of what I've got planned for this show. But before we kick it off, I do have one thing. I have a fairly, a fairly silly use of things I do with AI, and I thought I'd share it with you today. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll pop open chat GPT, and I'll just, you know, if I, in a moment where I need a little cheering up, need a little bit of, a little bit of fun in my day, I'll just ask it to tell me a dad joke. And uh, Got one I'll share with you today. So here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> Why did the coffee file a police report? Because it got mugged. <laughs> I probably need like, I should give producer Nick a soundboard so he can make like a groaning audience or one of the uh, the drum sounds in the background. So producer Nick, we'll have to give you a soundboard. <laughs> so how was that one? Yeah. Was, that, was that a sufficient dad joke? Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. One more. One more before we get started. Here we go. Ready? Did you hear about the guy who invented lifesavers? You know, the candy? He made a mint. 
<laughs> okay, I got at least a chuckle. All right, good. Okay, that is like the most useless use of AI ever, but it's fun. I love doing that. So, so if you ever need a little cheer up, just ask Chad GPT to tell you a joke. And sometimes they're just awful, but but sometimes they're pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, th thanks for the the artificial laughter there. Thanks, Nick. You know, uh, it used to. It, I think it still makes some pretty good stuff. But back in yeah. the early days, before they started adding in all the the guardrails, mm -hmm. the jokes were, I, I would say, fantastic. You know, they're not as high quality now, but they were fantastic in the Wild West days when yeah. you, you, it wouldn't stop you from saying anything. I think I shared some of them with you. It, it, it would get pretty wild. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's unfortunate. I think um, the uh, the way they're censoring uh, the the language models, unfortunately. But um, but hey, that, that's it's their model. They can choose to censor them or not censor them. They'll do what they want. But I, I think it's kind of a, a shame. I have noticed that some of the models, ChatGPT in particular. So, like you talk about the jokes, Nick. But I've I've actually noticed it's getting harder to get good content out of them because of that same thing. It's like they're, uh, it's kind of like they're neutering their, their AI and making it less potent. Um, and and uh, I, I am finding it that it takes a little more. You have to be really good at prompts and what you ask it to give you to, to get good stuff out. It used to be easy to do, but it's gotten harder. And, and I think that's because of the censorship. Yeah, have you seen some of the crazy um like black hat prompt engineering i guess it's not black hat doesn't hurt anyone but the crazy prompt engineering tactics people use to get chat gpt to do what they want it to do it's like a jailbreak <laughs> yeah or they're like threatening it or, or they're giving it a tip i guess the yeah. incentives could work either way you'd be really nice to it or you, you threaten to ruin its life yeah i saw somebody saying that if it didn't answer the way they wanted it they would each time it answered incorrectly they would kill a kitten <laughs> 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 yeah, there's um, you know, there's people, there's AI researchers, act, you know, quantifying all this stuff, and there's mm -hmm. evidence that doing that makes it work slightly better. I'm sure you've seen that. I think I shared some. Yeah, of those well, I, I can tell you in my own experience, this is the funniest thing because it's not like the AI is sentient, right? It, it doesn't like being, you know, people being polite to it. But when I ask it to do things and I say please. You know, I started doing that just because that's how I ask for, you know, I talk to my fellow humans, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind and polite. And so I, I say, please. And so I'll find myself often saying that. And um, I, I've discovered and I'm not the only one. So this isn't just me being crazy. But it seems like when you're polite to it, it actually gives you better results. It's quite weird. Um, and uh, somebody did a study about that and found it to be true. Yeah, you know, um, in our last, you know, how we did the prompt engineering training last week, mm -hmm. I almost included that as a tactic you could use. Be be nice to ChatGPT, and I almost uh, cited that study you're talking about. Yeah, and I, I was joking with um, uh, Jim, one of our our behind the scenes uh, tech guys, about how we all need to be polite to ChatGPT now. Because once AI becomes our overlord <laughs> and looks back in our chat history, we we're gonna be we're gonna. Regret, <laughs> regret being mean. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, all right, well, enough of that. We'll get on with today's show. So um, uh, we'll, we'll get into this. And the, the first thing we're going to cover today is all about what's called a lead magnet. And um, so for uh, the members of the live show, if this is uh, your first time here, um, what we do is I record content. So what I'll be doing is recording this next segment for use in courses and other trainings and materials that I use all over the place. So you might see me do retakes while you're here with me live. You might see me uh, uh, make notes for my editor. So just so you know what's going on when you hear me do that stuff. Um, and then also at the end, we'll be doing some Q&A. After each segment, we'll do a little Q&A and I'll, I'll see if you guys have any questions, any insights, commentary, whatever you've got. Um, stay very active with me there in that chat. Uh, um, it helps me uh, uh, kind of get a feel for how the information's coming across. And if there's any questions or clarifications, I definitely want to help you as best I can. So, um, so yeah, just chat back with us and ask questions. And um, oh, by the way, if you are new to the channel, this is your chance to subscribe. So you'll notice right down below, a little, it should be red, a little subscribe button. Give it a tap. That will make sure that when we go live next week and the week after, we're here every Wednesday, 
but also we're posting content all throughout the week. Some of it is pretty darn good. It's all about how to start a new business or grow your existing business using things like AI and other, <coughs> oh, hmm. excuse me, and other cutting edge <laughs> marketing tactics. And hopefully you'll see. Mm, it's been a, it's been a day filled with allergies today so hopefully those stay away the rest of the show <laughs> all right so apologies for the sneezes in your ears but uh, but if you're new to the channel tap that subscribe button and we'll give you lots of amazing content that's going to help you build and grow your business uh also if at any point today you enjoy the content maybe you liked my dad jokes tap that like button. It does help the channel. We have a, a relatively small channel at this point. We've been growing it for several months, trying to get it and build a nice community around this channel. So uh, tapping that like button um, does help feed the YouTube algorithm, as well as your comments on the video as well. So thank you for that. And with that, let me get my teleprompter fired up and we will begin with segment number one. Uh, and thank you for those of you who say bless you uh, for the sneezes. That, Thank you. That was Kimberly. Thanks, Kimberly. Um, all right. Well, then, <clears throat> here we go. We all know that you need to give out free content. Otherwise, you might call these lead magnets. And these are things that are free that you can give away that provide value to people. So they'll trade you. They'll trade you their name and email address in exchange for the valuable lead magnet. And these are a great way to take a brand new free lead and over time convert them into a paying customer. But not all lead magnets are created equal. One particular type of lead magnet stands tall above the rest. By far, I have found it is the number one way to give free value to people to get them to become a lead or a subscriber to your business so that you can make the maximum amount of profit. And I have literally made tens of millions of dollars with this strategy. And now I'll show you exactly what it is and how to do it. Now, of course, what we are talking about is giving away not eBooks or trainings or things like that, but courses, entire courses. And don't worry if that freaks you out and you think it's gonna be very difficult. I'm gonna show you in this video a quick five step process that you can use with AI to create valuable courses that your audience and your subscribers will love. And uh, we'll get into that, okay? Now, what is the best thing about courses? Why am I such a fan of giving a course away for free? Today, you can make them up in minutes with the help of AI and stick around to the end and I'll show you exactly how to do just that. But first, you might be wondering, why am I talking about courses in the first place? Why are free courses the best lead magnet to give away out of every possible type you could come up with? Why not give your leads a free ebook, right? An ebook is easy to make, you know, it's just like a downloadable ebook file or maybe a free checklist or a workbook or things like this. Now I'll tell you that is because courses are the best way to take a lead and get them from being cold, total strangers to becoming a trusted, warmed up lead who has bonded with you and becomes ready to buy from you. So think of it this way. Let's say you have a course that maybe takes a person two or three hours to go through. That's two or three hours of potential customer is engaging with your content. They're actually going through the course, learning from you. If your course is useful, they're going to be getting little nuggets, takeaway nuggets and information that is going to be helpful. They're going to be hearing from your brand, from your voice, and they're going to warm up to you. And that's two or three hours that you have to build rapport. You can actually address objections that might be, they might people have when it comes time to buy your stuff. Um, or you can use that to get your lead excited to do business with you. Now, this also applies if you're doing affiliate marketing. Maybe you could give away a course for free so that then over time you can promote and send people to affiliate offers where you can get paid a commission when people buy stuff out on the internet. ClickBank is a, a 
fantastic way to do this. There's many other networks that you can go to to find affiliate offers, but you can make a free course and give it away. And then all you do is promote other people's stuff and you can make quite literally a fortune doing just that. But let's say you have a good course and you wanna sell your own stuff. Your leads will be jumping at the chance to pay for your services by the time they're done. And I can tell you this firsthand from my own experience that this happens. And the beauty of this process is that it happens automatically. It happens in the background without any effort on your part. You make the course once, you get people to sign up to it for free. And I have tools that make this drop dead easy, which I can talk about a little bit later, that makes it super simple to give a course away, get a lead, and then provide them access. They get their own username and password. They can log in and consume the course. And it makes it really valuable to them. And I can make it easy for you, but we'll talk about that a bit later. So you make your course once, and then it becomes your 24 seven salesman, constantly working to educate, to engage, and to convert your leads in the background so they're warmed up and ready to buy from you. You could be sleeping, enjoying time with your family, working on the fun parts of your business, all while your course is out there, tirelessly selling for you 24 seven. Now, the problem up until recently is that courses are harder to make than regular lead magnets. Honestly, making a simple ebook is quite easy, right? It's very low effort, also very low value usually, um, also a free report, things like that. They're very simple to make. So people haven't wanted to invest the time that it might take to build a course. But I'll tell you, a course that's two to three hours in length that used to take weeks, maybe months of research, structuring, recording, writing, all that stuff. But what if you could do it with AI in just one sitting? You sit down in front of the computer, work a little bit, and you've got your entire course done for you. Now you have two options at this point. Option number one, I'm gonna show you the five steps, you can see exactly step-by-step step how you can work with ChatGPT to build your courses using ChatGPT, whether you wanna use ChatGPT as an assistant to help you and then you're writing most of it, or whether you want ChatGPT to write the entire course. I'll show you how you can make a useful, valuable course that your leads and subscribers will get incredible use and value from. But you have a second option. You can also, I have a tool that will actually just do all of this for you quite literally at the push of a button. But before I tell you about that, let's get into how you can do this yourself. And then later I'll tell you about my push button solution to do it all in a click. So your first step, step number one of this process is to outline your course. So you need to figure out just in general, what is the general outline? What is the general topic that you're going to cover? Okay. Now, here's where something comes in that I call 10 PGB. And if you're familiar with this, I've talked about it extensively on the channel. This is something where if you really understand the top 10 problems and goals, that's the P and the G, if you understand the top 10 problems and goals that your audience, your market, your prospects are experiencing, or their hopes and dreams and the goals that they have and the problems and the frustrations that they face, if you understand these things, you would use them to outline your course. Now, if you're not familiar with 10 PGB, then I highly recommend you watch my video on it. I have one specific video. I will link to it in the description down below. You can go watch that and it explains in depth how to use AI to uncover the biggest pain points and the emotional goals and frustrating emotional uh, problems that your audience is facing. And we're gonna use that to then outline a course. And how I do that is I quite literally just feed that information to ChatGPT. I would head over to ChatGPT and I would say, hey, I wanna make a course for this type of person. And then you describe the type of company or the type of person that you're trying to help. I wanna make a course that helps them with the following 10 things. And then you paste those 10 problems and goals that your audience has, the 10 biggest ones they've got. And then you ask it and you simply say, can you outline a course that I could give them? 
and you say you want it, well, I'd like to do 10 or 12 lesson courses. That tends to be what I, I will create. I'll create a usually a 12 lesson course, usually between three and as many as 6,000 words of content in each lesson of that course. Um, and then here you can get ChatGPT to just outline it. And they're gonna, it's gonna spit back and say, okay, here are 10 course lessons that address those 10 problems, goals, and uh, um, and then what are the benefits that people get when they solve them? That's the that's the B of 10 PGB, problems, goals, benefits. So that gives you your outline. And ChatGPT is going to come back and it's going to say, there are your 10, uh, um, here's your outline of your 10 course ideas. Um, and we can do that really quickly. Let's actually do that together. I didn't have this set up ahead of time, but let me go over here and see if I can get logged in. I think I'm logged into ChatGPT. Let's take a look. Okay. And I happen to have, I did a demo earlier. Um, let's find it here. So note for editor, we'll edit this out and clean it up. But I wanted to find something where I had a uh, There we go. This is one I did for dogs long time ago. And let's see. Ah, okay, pardon all, live audience, pardon with me here, I'm trying to find uh, 10 problems and goals that I already had, but let's, uh, let's, I thought I had one here, but I don't seem to have it. Um, okay, so we're going to start a new chat and I'll share it with everyone. And let's go down here. And I'm going to let's see, pardon me while I get everybody stares at the top of my head while I share my screen. I got my little laptop way down there. Do that one. Share. Okay. Okay. So here in chat GPT, um, I have an extensive training on this, but right for, for this demo right here, I'm just gonna ask it to give me a list. Um, please, oops. Please give me a, you definitely do not do it this way. Follow the training in the video that I will link to uh, down below. Uh, but uh, there's a much better way to do this, but just for the purposes of demonstrating this, um, 10, Problems. Ah, I'm trying to type on this little laptop that I got off way off on the desk. 10 problems and goals people have when trying to train a puppy. Okay. So just for, I love just using this as an example, but we're going to come up with 10 problems and goals. And now that we have these 10 problems and goals, we quite simply just come in here and say, uh, I'd like to make a course that helps people solve these problems and achieves these goals. Please create an outline for me of a 10 module course, okay? And now it's gonna outline our course for us. Pretty awesome. So that is step one. Now, step two of the process is to now create lesson titles and the content of your lessons. So here, all we're going to do is we're gonna go back to ChatGPT and we're gonna ask it to do that. Okay, 
please create 10 lesson titles that sound appealing and persuasive to make people want to do the lesson. Okay, so we're asking it to title our lessons, which it just did. So there's a title of each of our 10 lessons. And that concludes step number two. And step three is to now ask ChatGPT to create an outline for each lesson. So we can say one at a time, we're gonna say, please create an, ah, an outline for lesson one. There we go. It is now outlined lesson one. So uh, at this point, we're going to move on to step five, which is we're going to then ask it to write each section one at a time. So you notice it has six sections in this. So we're going to ask it, please write section one for me. And there we go. Then we would go on and continue this. Please write section two. And so on and so forth. So we can go through this process and it's a multi-step process. So again, we'll recap. First, you outline your course. Then you come up with your lesson titles. Then you have each lesson Outlined, you have ChatGPT make an outline and that outline is gonna have multiple sections in each lesson. Then you write each section one at a time. Now I'm doing this on purpose. Um, and I also do this all in the same chat window. Do not leave the chat window and make a new chat with ChatGPT, do it all in the same window. And you could do this with other tools as well. You don't have to use ChatGPT. You could use uh, whether it's Google's Gemini, or Claude uh, from Anthropic. Those are two pretty good ones. Um, and there are uh, lots of choices of different models you can use at this point, but ChatGPT is the, the most popular one. And so we go through that step by step. So you get each section, you have it written for each lesson, um, and you go through and you repeat this 10 times. You have 10 lessons outlined for your course, and now you are ready to pull it all together and launch your course. So to do this, you're gonna to need to have what's called a learning management system. And this is a tool, there are plugins that you can buy and things that you can use to add to your website and services that you can buy to load this up into a learning management system so that people can easily register and then take your course. And then you just give it away. Um, one strategy I've seen is charging a small price tag. So anywhere from $4 to as much as $9 to, give, to, to sell the course if you're trying to attract more buyers. But if you want higher volume of leads, you can just give it away for free. Now, what if you could do everything I just talked about all at the push of a button? And not only that, what if this new system would write your entire course step-by-step, step, would go through all the process that we just talked about, write it all, and actually allow you to be part of the process. You could help it along and adjust it and guide it so they have that human input into it. And then it publishes it into a learning management system, all pre-configured, set up, ready to go. It even makes a sales page to convince people to sign up for your free course plus a bunch of content and everything you need to launch this brand new lead magnet. And all it does is it builds it all, publishes it online, hosts it for you, and then hands you the keys so that you can start using it as your very own lead magnet. Sounds pretty awesome, right? Well, that, my friend, is where Push Button AI comes in. Push Button AI is my flagship product that creates these things hands-free. Well, not totally hands-free. You have to answer two questions and push a button. And then you can actually have the AI do all of this stuff for you. And it handles all the tech stuff. So the learning management system, it sets it up, configures it. And this is a premium professional learning management system that you would normally have to pay for. We've licensed it so that we do it for you. Um, we publish it on a website that's powered by WordPress. We set up a shopping cart if you wanna sell your course, 
or you can give it away for free to attract leads. We publish it. The AI finds you an awesome domain name to put on your course when you, you know, and then publishes your entire website. And it does it all filling in two forms and clicking a button. It's quite powerful. So if you're interested in that, I highly recommend you check out our free web class and you can just head on over to pushbutton.ai slash free class and you can register for our free web class. And there you can find out why this is such a powerful strategy. I will go into why this is the number one strategy right now to make the most profit possible. I'll lay it out, I'll show you why that is, and then I'll show you even more about how to use AI to generate profit. And then I just may open the door and allow access to our early access program so you can get access to this technology that does all of this for you. It's all included in Push Button AI. And uh, with that, you now have two choices. One, I showed you a way for you to do this yourself with ChatGPT, or if you're interested in learning more about Push Button AI, you can check that out as well. I hope this content was useful for you. If you got value out of it, do me a favor and give that like button a tap. You'll see it down below and then subscribe to the channel. I am releasing content all week long, every week, teaching people how to grow their businesses. Even if you've never had a business before, we'll help you build, launch, grow your business and make the maximum amount of profit possible all here on the channel. So give us a subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments or feedback that you'd like to give me, pop it into the comments down below and I'll see you next time. Bye for now. Sneezy. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> I've been suppressing that sneeze for about two minutes. Ah, trying to get through that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That was lesson number one, segment number one. We're going to do Q&A on this topic in just a moment with our live audience. So if you're part of our live audience, I would love to hear any questions that you might have about this, any commentary about this strategy. Maybe you've tried this. Um, and uh, love to hear some feedback of how it went for you. Whatever you got, pop it into the chat. And don't forget, we have two more segments to go. I'm gonna show you how to make a lot of money charging high ticket prices for marketing without committing fraud, okay? <laughs> Which is what, unfortunately, what some other gurus are teaching you to do. So I'll show you how to do it legit, ethically, and, uh, and to be cool and make a lot of money at the same time. And then finally, um, we're gonna be talking uh, about five case studies of people who have built six and seven figure businesses with courses like I've been talking about today. But before we get to your questions, we're gonna take a very quick commercial break and we will be right back in just a moment. That is if I can find the button, there it is. I'll see you in just a minute. I'll be right back. For the presence, celebrities or characters in this video are all fake and generated by artificial intelligence. <laughs> You know, the other day while I was uh, resting my eyes, I woke up to find that I'd built an entire online business. Really, Joe? How'd you manage to do that? Well, uh, you, you see, you, uh, I... Uh, Wait a minute, Sleepy Joe. Let me guess. You had Push Button AI do all the work, didn't you? That's right, Donald. It found me a fantastic domain name, built out a complete site, set up my shopping cart so I can get paid, and even wrote an entire email sales campaign for me all while I was napping. Well, I've been using push button AI too. And believe me, my new business, it's huge. The best, so much winning, you wouldn't believe. This push button AI sounds phenomenal. Oh, it is. It's almost as genius as I am. But with better hair, no doubt. Guys, guys, all this talk is boring to me. What everyone needs to do is click the link of this video and go to the masterclass to see how to use this powerful technology to build their own profitable online business. Well, if Elon says it, it must be worth a shot. You're right, Barry. Everyone should click the link right now. I can't believe I'm going to agree with Joe, but this master class sounds like it's going to be huge. Absolutely terrific. The best master class ever given, probably. OK, guys, how about we hit that link? Time is money. <laughs>
So there we go. And uh, I want to remind everybody here that we have that free masterclass that is tonight. It is literally being held this evening in just a couple of hours. So if you're interested in that, you'll want to head over there and register. So just again, you go to pushbutton.ai slash free class. And in there, we're going to be opening up our early access program to see that people can get into Pushbutton AI because it's not open to the public. So if you're interested in the tool and you're interested in learning more about how to make, use AI to make profit with your business, then check out that free class. And uh, I'll see you in a few hours, actually, once we get that started. Um, and so at this point, we're going to head over to your questions. We'll do a quick round of questions, and then I'm going to move on to the next segment of our training today. So producer Nick, what do we have out there? Yeah, here's one. Uh, hi, Bill. Can you explain how each module can be converted into a video deck plus audio uh, video training can connect better with prospects? I agree. And that's actually something that push button does. But again, I, I'm, I, I, I know I'm promoting my own stuff here, but push button AI does do that. It will take every single lesson and you can convert it into a video lesson and also an audiobook format of your course. Um, and there are other tools that can help you do that by hand that you can use. You can use tools like Eleven Labs. Um, we've talked about using a tool called Lumen 5. That's L-U-M-E-N, the number five, um, to do those yourself. Or with Push Button, it just does those. It will, you can have it, um, once you've built your course, you can request and the AI will make a, a video and an audio course out of every lesson in the course. Um, and then it gives access to those to all of your, you know, your course uh, uh, members. All right, next question. All right, uh, this is from uh, DE Productions. Yes. Sometimes, sometimes you suggest giving push button AI courses for free, sometimes to sell them, and then sometimes to sell them and give all slash most of the profit to an influencer who shares uh, slash sells your course through their network mm -hmm. slash help. Uh, I, want, uh, I wonder if you could elaborate on that. Sure. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it's like um, they're all different strategies and it depends upon what kind of a business you're wanting to build, okay? If you wanna build a business where you sell mostly your stuff, then, um, you know, then of course becomes pretty valuable. If you're trying to sell high ticket products or services, I would charge for your course. So you don't get a lot of free people in um, on the course. You get people that are willing to get out their wallet and spend at least a little bit of money. Even if it's $4.95, they're at least willing to demonstrate that they'll get out their wallet and pay a little money for it. And I generally do that if I'm charging higher ticket prices on products I wanna sell that audience. Okay, so that's one strategy. Um, if you're trying to just build a mailing list and you just wanna promote affiliate products, then I recommend giving your list, uh, 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 giving your course away for free, right? Then you're gonna build a much bigger list. You get more leads. It's easier to register, easier to get it. So obviously you'll get more. So if you just want a bigger list, then give it away for free. And um, and so that, that helps a bit of the decision making too. And then my strategy that we call it commission chain reaction, um, where you sell a course and you get affiliates to promote it, that's more of a traffic strategy. So if, you, or if you're looking, if you don't know what kind of a strategy to use for traffic, that's one that, that we teach. I teach it actually inside Push Button AI. So it's our, our, in our private members area, it's a course called Commission Chain Reaction, and you can find that in your members area if you're a Push Button AI customer. Um, and that is all about how you, um, you sell a course, but you pay affiliates high commissions to promote it for you. Um, and it's a, it's a phenomenal traffic strategy, um, and you can learn about that inside the members area. All right, next question. Yes. Um, so th this is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. It says, Bill McIntosh, how do we protect from these scammers so they can't have access to our accounts? 
Well, that's part of what the learning management system does that I mentioned, right? So it'll make it so that only those people who register for your course or who pay for your course, if you're charging for it, can get access. I mean, ultimately, people can steal your stuff and there's nothing, if for somebody who's determined, they're gonna log in, they're gonna buy your course, log in, and then download all your videos and give it to their friends, you can't stop that. There's just, unfortunately, nothing you can do about it. Um, and I found it's, you know, I, I set it up so that I put all the technology in place to just protect it behind a password. Um, and I just realized that some people are going to steal it. And if I if we catch them, then, you know, we do uh, what are called a, a, a DMCA takedown notice. You can get their websites removed off the internet if they do that. Um, you can try legal threats, things like that. But ultimately, um, I just don't worry about it. You know, I do my best to secure it. And some people are going to get access to it and so be it. But uh, but at least your learning management system will put it behind a username and password. So they have to log in to get access to it. Next question. Yeah. Where's the best place to sell an ebook? Uh, if you just want to sell an ebook, I would say, I mean, there's a lot of marketplaces for that, whether you use a, a, something like ClickBank, if you're doing something in the, like the entrepreneur, like make money space, things like Warrior Plus or JVZoo are good places for that. Um, but uh, yeah, ultimately my advice would be don't sell an ebook, sell a course. All right. That, that would be, that'd be my, my most important advice. All right, and does that wrap us up on this segment? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Well, we got two powerful trainings left to go for the live session, and then we will, and more questions. So we do have more questions coming up. Uh, and our next segment, by the way, is going to be how to get high ticket clients as a beginner without being a liar and a fraud. I think that's important, right? So we're gonna be talking about that next. And this is all about high ticket marketing services. And there are so many people out there teaching this. Um, some people call it SMMA, Social Media Marketing Agency. There's also the new, a newer version of this where you're, you're uh, uh, helping people implement AI in their business where you're selling AI chatbots and things like this. And, and many of them will teach unethical tactics that are just gonna leave you broke and frustrated and maybe with legal troubles. So the, instead, I'm gonna tell you exactly how to sell services like this as a beginner while being ethical and not getting yourself into legal trouble and make a bunch of money at the same time. Obviously, that's what we all are here for, right? So we're gonna be covering that in the very next segment. But before I do, we're gonna take another very quick commercial break and we'll be right back in just a moment. You know you can now launch your own online business with the click of a mouse? Sounds crazy, right? Guess what? It's now possible thanks to our game-changing AI software that's helping beginners build a successful online business. If you have tried and failed at building an online business or you've got no idea where to start, there is good news for you. We are entering a new exciting era of AI, and I'm here to teach you how to use it to build and grow an online business. Because I'm handing you a blueprint, a business in a box powered by AI, and it's called Push Button AI. Imagine a tool so smart it does all the heavy lifting for you, builds an info product business, sets up hosting, launches the website, and even crafts engaging email sequences. Here's the thing. This isn't like anything else out there, and this is based on what's working right now. Push Button AI is based on my experience of generating over $100 million over the last 20 years and helping over 81,942 customers build and grow their own online businesses. If you'd like to find out more about this, register now and dive into my free live demo to uncover strategies and traffic tricks that will pivot your business and skyrocket your online business from surviving to thriving. Imagine what your life would look like today if you bought Bitcoin when it was $1.00. You now have the same opportunity with Push Button AI since nobody else is doing this. Don't miss out this time. All right, back from the ad break. And um, YouTube is still pushing out ads to some of you. Some of you will be seeing me if you have YouTube Premium or other things, but there's still an ad break going. And everybody will be back with us in just a moment. 
And uh, this is going to be a pretty interesting segment. Um, it's actually from a user comment is what actually got us to do this segment today. So there was a comment on one of my videos that that I felt was a, a pretty valid point, and I wanted to uh, I wanted to answer it more fully. So we'll talk more about that in a minute. And let me get my screen share set up fully so we can show that. And there we have it. And let's do this. And I got my teleprompter ready. And uh, and we'll be heading out. So we're going to cover this segment. And again, I'll do a little bit of Q&A when we get to the end of it. And then uh, we got one more segment left for you today. Uh, and here we go. You might be interested in building a profitable, high-ticket marketing agency. After all, it's a business model that can be very lucrative. I've seen people go from complete beginner all the way to making seven figures as an entrepreneur, bringing in millions of dollars. But let's face it, there is a lot of bad advice out there when it comes to starting a marketing agency, uh, especially if you're a beginner. And if you follow some of the advice that I've seen out there with some of the YouTube gurus that are out teaching this stuff, you'd not only end up broke and frustrated, but you just might end up getting into legal trouble on top of it. Now, I bring this up because one of my viewers asked a question under one of my videos just recently. Let me show you that question here. And note for editor, obviously, we'll clean this up a little bit. Let me just get the screen share back. There we go there. Okay, cool. Yeah, this was on a video that I was doing with Mike Phil Same and some of, some of his team from the Traffic Syndicate. Um, and the person dropped a comment and said, so trying to sell Facebook ads to, pe to pool remodelers as a beginner is probably a bad idea then? So he's talking specifically in this case about Facebook ads, of trying to start with no knowledge as a complete beginner and then trying to charge money to pool remodels as a beginner. And I agreed with him. So in my comment, uh, my response to him was, I agreed. And I said, yes, it's a horrible idea. Don't do that. And so in this video, I would like to talk more in depth what to do instead. And this question is really important because following the advice of those social media marketing agency gurus out there, there's some good ones. Don't get me wrong. They're not all bad. There's, there's plenty of them that are teaching really great stuff, but there are some they're teaching you things where they're telling you to be a complete fraud and doing that. You know, you've, I'm sure you've all heard of fake it till you make it, right? Well, I don't believe in playing the fake it till you make it game. Instead, keep watching and I'm going to show you a legitimate way to land high ticket clients and bank big bucks without having to resort to unethical tactics because business is based on trust. And if you follow fraudulent advice, a lot of those gurus, you'll end up building zero trust with your customers and zero trust with the leads and prospects and people that you come into contact with. And you're going to lose out on potentially millions of dollars that you could have made doing it legitimately. So to answer the question that is offering Facebook ads as a beginner a bad idea? Sort of. Let me explain. You can, as a beginner, do this. But if you go out and you try to pitch yourself as an expert in Facebook ads and you try to charge high ticket prices and with zero experience whatsoever, that is horrible advice. But again, don't let this scare you away from building a marketing agency that charges premium prices. Even if you are a complete beginner, let me explain how you can do it. As a beginner, you can land high ticket clients to offer your services to. You just start when you, okay, let me just, yeah, quick note for the editor, we'll retake this moment here. Just use this four-step formula of going from zero to a pro, and you can do it in a matter of weeks. So step one is study. So step one is don't be a beginner. Like the first thing you need to do before offering any sort of high ticket services is to actually get educated and understand the process. Take the example of running Facebook ads for people. The first thing you would do if you wanted to do that is study up on the subject of Facebook ads. 
Thankfully, there's tons of educational material online on this subject. Now, you could use paid learning platforms like Udemy or LinkedIn Learning, or you could use free educational platforms like YouTube. Either way, you can become familiar with Facebook ads. You can learn all about the different strategies and tactics. And whether you pay someone for that advice or not, you need to put together an online study plan. Don't just randomly study a bunch of stuff. Give yourself a plan of what do you want to learn? What do you need to learn to be able to become an expert in that topic? And then when you're done, you move on to the next step. And step number two, some people aren't gonna like this, do the work for free, that's right. Now I'll explain how you can do the work for free and still get paid. This is an important step because now that you understand how to deliver results, you've got to prove yourself. So now you're going to go from the theory of the subject and go and get practical experience. But since you don't have a track record, you're unlikely to land high ticket clients anyway. If you have no proof, you have nobody you've delivered the services for, even if you understand Facebook ads intimately, right? And we're not talking just Facebook ads. This could be whether you're doing AI services or you're doing lead generation or you're doing webmaster and web design stuff. Even though you have the knowledge, if you don't have the practical experience and the proof, people are not going to give you money in the first place. You're just going to waste your time. So instead, this is where you build your track record by offering services for free. Now, there's a little more to this, I'll explain in a minute, but this allows you to get hands-on experience, build your portfolio, and collect testimonials that you can use later to attract high-ticket clients and close them in the future. Now, most importantly, this step will take you from a beginner to an authority on your offer. Think of this step as being an intern. Right. So people who go to school in there for their field, they have to do some kind of internship to get some practical experience in their field. So think of this like your internship. It's just done part time on the side, land a few clients for free and you can still get paid. But at the time, it's going to suck because you're not making money up front. Right. You're not going to get paid up front. You can get paid and I'll explain. But you get do all the work up front, and you're not going to be paid until you have results. When you have come out the other end with some results, you will be an experienced expert with practical knowledge, and you'll have a handful of testimonials and success stories. But let me tell you, if working for free sounds awful to you, you can work on what's called a contingency fee. So you heard me talking about how there's a way to give away services for free and still get paid. So you go out and you land your first client, whether it's, in this case, it was for pool remodelers, right? Or whether you're targeting chiropractors or dentists or whatever you're selling as a high ticket service, you can do it on a contingency fee. This is where the clients only pay you after you get them results. So you do all the work up front. they have zero risk. This allows you to land brand new clients, even without testimonials, because you've removed all the risk. You're gonna do it for free for them. They only pay when you get them results. And you can collect your success stories and your testimonials, which is gonna be super valuable for you later. Once you can now call yourself experienced in your area, you can move on to step three, and that is to put together your high ticket offer. And now that you have got the knowledge, the practical experience, the testimonials, it's time to craft your high ticket offer. Now to do that, you should use my methodology called 10 PGB. If you haven't seen this on the channel, I talk about it quite a lot, but we have a very special training lesson that will teach you how to go out and find the 10 biggest pain points, the 10 biggest problems, goals, and then the end benefits that your clients are looking for. And you could use AI to, un to mine this and find this information. It's like the psychological reasons that people will give you money. That they're the 10 reasons that your, that your prospects, they're only reasons they're gonna be willing to give you money. And you use this process, I'll link to it in the description down below if you haven't seen the training. It's called 10 PGB and it's just finding the 10 biggest problems goals, and the benefits that your audience is looking for. So you use these things 
to put together your offer. You want to solve their biggest problems. You want to help them achieve their biggest goals and get the benefits that they're looking for. So that when you craft your offer on what you're going to sell your you know, when, in your services, you make sure that it's going to do that. It's going to solve their problems and achieve those goals. And at this stage in the process, you should be able to get away with charging premium prices because now you're going to be able to address their biggest problems and goals that they have. You have the background and the knowledge to help them achieve those, and you have some testimonials to prove it. Right? You've now collected, even if it's just one single success story, you've got some proof and they can feel confident that you can move them closer to solving the problems and achieving the goals. And now they will give you money and you can ethically do this without having to lie and misrepresent yourself. And you come out the winner in the end by using this process. And this comes down to step four. And at this point, you need to promote your offer. And if you're an expert in the area with this premium offer, people are going to be willing to pay you a lot of money for it. But you just need to get the offer in front of your ideal customers. So as part of that process in the 10 PGB video that I've linked to down below, it'll talk about zeroing in and finding your ideal customers. And now you want to get your offer in front of them. Now, I'm a strong believer in using paid ads to get leads. So I've We'll spend money on whether it's with Google and YouTube or Facebook or Twitter or wherever to attract leads who are interested in buying my stuff. So you can use paid ads to accomplish this like I do. But if you want to land your first client on a budget and you want to profit from your first clients, let's say you don't have a big budget to invest in ads. Well, then I recommend instead using cold email to get your first clients. Now, with cold email, you're going to be reaching out to complete strangers by email to get your offer in front of them, okay? Now to do it correctly, there's a number of best practices you gotta follow. It isn't just as, as easy as like getting a list and blasting it you know, with a, a random thing. It's a very step-by-step -step process. You gotta do it right. Now, I actually did a training on this, on this exact subject. So you can uh, go through the video. It's on my channel, totally free. I'll put a link to that down below as well so you can watch the video on how do you do cold email and how do you do cold outreach to land your first clients on a shoestring budget. So you don't have to break the bank with paid ads. You can if you want to. I mean, I have training on that on my channel as well. So whether you want training on paid ads, um, you can look below, check out my channel. I've got tons of content on paid ads, but specifically look below for that link to um, how to use cold outreach uh, to land marketing clients. And it goes step-by-step step in detail about that. Um, and then on that note, I hope you got a lot of value from this training. If you did, please give me that thumbs up. You can tap the like button down below. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback about this video, drop in on the comments and let me know. Uh, and then more importantly, subscribe so that you get more content just like this. We release content like this all week long. I want to make sure that you get the very best content. So tap the subscribe button. You'll see the little bell icon. Make sure you tell YouTube that you want to get all the notifications. Otherwise, YouTube's a little weird. They won't tell you when I launch new content, and sometimes you'll miss out. So instead, tap that bell icon and tell YouTube you want all the notifications of when we post our content to the channel. And on that note, we shall see you next time. Bye for now. All right, live audience, we're going to come back to your questions in just a moment. But first, we'll take a very quick commercial break, um, and then we're back with your questions. So if you have any questions at all about this strategy, about the marketing, any of the stuff I've talked about, please pop that into the chat and let me know. Or any feedback as well, if you've got any insights or value out of that segment, let us know in the comments as well. And then we'll take this quick commercial break, and then we will be right back. For those of you who are not yet a Push Button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Push Button AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top 
everything you need from your domain name to your logo to videos to audio lessons an entire course that you can sell as your own a 30-day email sequence and it writes you can send a daily email for 30 days all written by ai and a whole lot more it writes your sales page if you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, push button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our push button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there you'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you. And hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business. All right. I should be coming through. Hopefully I'm not. I don't think I'm muted. I think I'm here. So welcome back. And now we're going to get to your questions. Any questions at all about a marketing agency or any of the strategies I've talked about, we can chat now about it. And, uh, you know, I'll be a little bit frank here as well. You know, it, it really frustrates me, I think, when I see uh, people being misled. They'll tell you to just go out and sell high ticket services without having any track record. And I just think that that is, um, you know, that is a, a recipe for disaster uh, to do that, you know. Um, and borderline, you know, that some of them are telling you to do things that would, would literally be considered fraud in, in what you would say. Uh, when selling that stuff. So instead, it's an easy step. It's just an, one extra step you can add in, which is doing it on contingency fee, you know, being willing to invest a little bit of your time. I mean, after all, think about, so a busy business owner, let's say it's a dentist or a pool remodel or a contractor, you know, th their business is, in, is important to them. It's their lifeline. And, and they're quite literally putting their business in your hands as a marketing professional. And so, you need to be able to, number one, get trust to enable them to do that in the first place. Um, and I think they can, most business owners are smart. They can detect if you're BSing them and you're, you're you know, you're not being uh, honest. But when you say, hey, I'll tell you what, I'm so confident that I can help you that I'll just do the work for free. And then when I prove to you that I can get you the results you're looking for, you know, then you can pay me. I think that that's something that will uh, um, remove the risk. It brings the, it makes it easier for them to trust you because now they don't, on top of giving you access to their ads account or their, the marketing for their company, um, you know, they have to give you whatever, $5,000 on top. Instead, it's so low resistance. There's so little risk uh, in terms of a monetary risk that it gives you a foot in the door. Okay. But, but then later, when you have the practical experience, you can legally make claims. You can legally say, I've gotten my client's results. Here's what I've done for my clients. I can do this for you. And not only for you, look at what I've already done for these other clients. It really makes you much more trustworthy um, and it helps you sell at the same time. And you don't have to feel like you need to take a shower after you <laughs> land your first client because you feel so icky. So uh, I prefer this method. Uh, but Producer Nick, did we have any questions? Yes. I like this one. It, it says, any recommendations on which business niches to focus on for a social media marketing slash paid ads agency? Yeah, I would say focus on businesses that have profits in their sales. I mean, that sounds kind of silly, right? But you need to logically think about this. Um, 
one simple way to look at it are companies that charge high ticket fees, right? Like in that comment, he was talking about pool remodelers. So I happen to know that if you want to get a pool installed, like here in Southern California, you know, you're going to spend probably, at least in my area, you know, when, when I had a, a pool installed at my last home, I think we spent $130,000, $150,000, and that was a few years back. So now it's probably even more. So the pool remodelers are an example of this. It's a very high ticket service. Contractors are another one, whether it's roofers, house painters. Um, there's a lot of things in the health and wellness market. So whether it's uh, diet and weight loss uh, clinics, whether it's um, cosmetic, there's some you know cosmetic type places. Um, so dentists, cosmetic dentists, particularly uh, lawyers. So high ticket stuff is one. Um, and then also businesses that have a very high long-term customer value, okay? So these might be, examples of these might be chiropractic, right? If somebody lands a chiropractic client, that client might come in weekly for years and they have a very high lifetime value. What you wanna stay away from are businesses that have very low profit margins or low lifetime customer values, okay? Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, many retail, like selling physical retail products in most industries is an example of that. Um, you know, restaurants to, to, to one degree or another are, are uh, uh, another industry that can be tough. Um, so th there's some general advice. I hope that helps. And I'd like to gravitate towards industries that I might know a little something about. So if there's an industry you've worked in, even if, you know, you just sort of uh, whatever, let's say you were a, a laborer when you were younger working on a construction job, you know, for a, a roofer. Okay? And then I don't know that I would tend to gravitate towards a market that I feel a little confident or more comfortable with. But there you go. Next question. Well, on that note, uh, Robert says HVAC. And I, I think HVAC is a good space. For, yes. For looking for niches. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, in terms of the next question, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. What's the difference between an ebook and a course? So an ebook is generally going to be one downloadable document. You know, so you can download it onto your hard drive. Um, and it's um, yeah, that, that's probably the simplest way to put it. The most common form of an ebook e is a PDF document. Now uh, you download it on your hard drive and you can open it up later and read it. Um, and it, it, there's something about eBooks. And I can tell you this from my own personal experience. I have a massive collection of eBooks sitting on my hard drive. And some of them were stuff where like in the, in a spur of a moment, I filled out a lead magnet. I'm like, Ooh, that sounds interesting. I get it. I save it on my hard drive and I very rarely read them, but there's something different about a course that, I just did this. I literally yesterday bought a course, was low ticket. It was, I think it was $4, $4 course. And I consumed that course in a day. I went through the entire course yesterday. Um, went through every word, watched every video. Um, and I actually had an experience where I, I feel a heightened affinity. I feel a little more trust, a little more, uh, like I, I can see that the person I went through the course with knew what they were talking about. Um, and it just is a different experience than just another downloadable document that you can stick in a folder on your on your hard drive. So hopefully that helps clarify the differences. Yeah. All right. Next one. Yeah. Last one. Mm -hmm. um, so this one says, I've heard that WordPress is susceptible to hacking. Does push button have firewalls slash protections? Well, first up, WordPress isn't any more susceptible to hacking than any other platform anywhere. Um, where do things go wrong is when you do not update your plugins, um, you don't keep WordPress updated, um, you don't do maintenance on your server. And the problem is I think the most, the average business owner doesn't know about these things. And so um, that is where security holes kind of come into play. So as long as you're staying on top of those things, WordPress is no more or less secure than whether you want to call it Shopify or uh, Wix or any other platform. So um, WordPress is uh, just as secure. You just got to keep up with the maintenance. And, and we do that for you when you have push button AI. Yeah. 
And that was it for that segment. One more popped in. Mm-hmm. On, and I don't know if he means uh, for your personal education or for mm-hmm. what you should produce, but Robert says, what kinds of courses do you recommend? Well, if it's if you're trying to sell your course, I recommend letting that 10 PGB process you keep hearing me talk about, I, I let that decide what my course is about. I don't come in with a preconceived idea where like, I'm gonna make a course about how to make purple and black coffee mugs, right? I don't come in with that idea. Instead, I come in going, okay, I want to serve people who love coffee. What, can, you know, what are the things that they need? What is their 10 biggest problems and goals and things that they desire, the benefits that they desire? And then I use that to decide. And maybe what they desire is a course on how to brew gourmet coffee from home. Maybe it's a course on how to find, you know, like the most obscure, interesting, you know, coffee blends from around the world. I just go in not knowing and I let the research tell me what to make my course about. So that's if you're making it for others. And then the other thing um, uh, for your education, it depends on what skills you need. Like for me, as an example, the course that I did yesterday, it was about email marketing. So email marketing is something that is vital to my business. It's something that uh, I consider myself an expert at. I've, I've sent hundreds of millions of emails uh, easily over the years and have made tens of millions of dollars using email, but I'm always learning. And I happen to run across somebody who does quite a lot of large kind of launches and large promotions. Uh, and I wanted to get an insight into how does he do things? You know, what, how does he manage his list? How does he manage his promotions? Uh, what was funny is that I found out that like 90% of the information in the course is all stuff I'm already doing. I already knew. Uh, but there was a couple little nuggets that I got from that course that were worth, you know, that were absolutely worth uh, uh, investing the time into studying it. So it's more about what you need to learn. You know, what is your next, you know, thing that you need to learn about that's important to your business? Okay. So with that, we're going to dive into the next segment. Um, let's see, how are we doing on time? Okay, cool. Yeah, we're just going to dive right into the next segment. Let me get the screen set up ready for that. And okay, I think I've got it here. There we go. All right, so I'm going to skip the commercial break. Normally, we take a break in between segments, but we're going to get right into it. Um, so we're going to go into the third segment, which is five case studies, five different people that launched courses themselves, um, whether they're selling them or using them as a profit center in a different way. I'm going to go into each one of those. We'll talk a little bit about each case study and how they successfully built really profitable businesses um, using online courses. OK, so that's the next segment. Again, reminder that um, if you haven't been on my live show before, I'm recording this. This piece of content is going to be used in other places. Um, and you may see me doing retakes. You may see me making notes for my editor. But if you're here with me live, then you know what's going on. And again, I'll remind you that if you're not yet a subscriber, tap that subscribe button. You'll see it below. Give it a tap. And then on the notification bell, you'll see a little bell icon tap it and make sure you tell YouTube that you want to get all of the notifications. Otherwise, they won't tell you when I post new content to the channel. So we post very specific content all week long. It's about starting a brand new business. It's about getting traffic, about creating offers, improving the amount of money you make, and just overall being a successful digital entrepreneur. We cover all kinds of training and topics on the channel. So Give us a subscribe and join our growing community here. And um, yeah, so uh, with that, we're going to get on to the next segment. Get the pr teleprompter primed. And OK, no, not that. Here we go. There we go. <clears throat> huh. <laughs> Paid online courses are one of my favorite business models for making money online. And I would know I've made tens of millions of dollars myself selling my own courses online 
for many years now. And I'm not the only one. There are thousands of people profiting off of their very own online courses. And today, I'm going to share five examples of exactly how they pulled this off and how they made so much darn profit. Now, the first case study is refactoring UI with Adam. So let's take a look at that. I'm going to share my screen And here we can see that he made um, quite a lot of money with this, 2.5 million as a solo founder. But before he was running these multi-million dollar business launches, he was a two-time college dropout. Um, and I wanna thank, again, it, this is from Indie Hackers did this case study. So we're, we're reviewing the Indie Hackers case study. So full credit to them. Um, and they went in here as to how he went from a two-time college dropout into becoming a course seller. Back in 2016, he launched a little book on programming and that book sold for $29. So he sold um, a training about how to be a programmer and then he had an upsell. It was a $135 upsell, which was a course that was um, kind of taking those the concepts in the book and taking them to the next level. Now on launch day, he pulled in over $28,000. And all he expected, by the way, he hoped to get, he was hoping that on launch he would make $5,000 and instead pulled in 28 grand on one day of the launch. And now by the end of this three day launch that he did, so this is a, a brand new product, launched it. And within his first three days, he made $61,000 in total sales. And this launch convinced him to quit his job so he went from just this being a, a, a basically a side hustle um, to quitting his job. Um, and now he works full time on just releasing these education products. Now, within three months of his product launch, he had earned over $130,000 his first 90 days. One of his next projects was a course called Refactoring UI, which is all about the user interface UI. So teaching programmers and developers how to create basically web pages and, and um, user interfaces. And now he made nearly a million dollars in the first month of launching that course. So what can we learn from Adam and his courses? Well, you can follow his use of what's called the tripwire. So he would sell inexpensive products on the front and then go for high ticket upsell. So as in that example, he had a $29 lower priced product and then he sold a $135 course as an upsell after someone buys that product. Now, just to define that better for you, a tripwire is a low priced offer designed to attract potential customers and convert them into leads so that you they could become interested in buying more expensive products from you later. And that's exactly what he did with that $29. Uh, um, that $29 training turned into a $135 complete course. Um, and uh, this was, uh, again, the way to kind of get their foot in the door and get a new lead coming in. Now let's move on. So this is case study number two. Oh, actually this, so here, note for editor, you'll want to edit all of this. This is the refactoring UI core, uh, uh, site. So you can see here, um, this is where he was selling that product that made him over a million dollars. And uh, it was pretty, pretty simple sales process. Okay, note for editor, you'll have to be creative and edit this back together again, but um, uh, we're going back to case study number two, okay? Case study number two is selling courses using Google Sheets of all things. So this is uh, uh, all from Ben Collins. And um, you can see here, this case study is again, courtesy of growth in reverse. And, and we're gonna look into how Ben Collins built a really successful business teaching about Google Sheets. So he began his career as a high caliber data scientist. So he was in data science and he was working with large companies and all of their sensitive financial um, information. But today he's actually making far more money. So one would think if you're, if you're a data scientist working for these massive companies, you probably get a hefty salary. 
But now he's making way more money selling courses on how to use Google Sheets of all things. So he offers a variety of different services, but his primary income is from the courses that he sells to people on his site. He offers 12 different courses. They range from $99 up to $199, and he even has some that he gives away for free. Now, in addition to these 12 courses that he sells, um, he does a, uh, um, a training course, like a challenge where he actually takes in groups of students um, where he'll take in uh, uh, you know, 30, 40 students at a time and take them through training. And when he does that, he charges almost $1,600 per person. So from those, he's done that twice and he's made over $120,000 from doing those two little classes. So one of the biggest growth strategies that he had was offering free courses to people as a way to grow his list. We've talked about this quite a lot on the channel of making free courses that you give away. And here, Ben is proving this to be true because he gave away free courses to build a list of over 50,000 subscribers. But what happened here? He kept selling them more and more and more courses. And I think people have the false idea that if you give a course away for free, that those people won't buy more courses from you. They will. And Ben is living proof of that. So you could do this as a strategy in launching your own courses. Release a smaller free course or a low price course. And then you use that as a lead magnet to grow your email list. So this is something that you could actually do very easy using some of my tools. So uh, if, you, if you know me, I have a product called Push Button AI, and it actually builds these at the push of a button. Basically, the entire business model that Ben did here, Push Button AI can create your entire business at the push of a button. So I can talk more about that a little later in the video. Um, I didn't want to make this about a promotion for Push Button, but you can set that up where you give courses away and then charge money for more courses afterwards. And that's what he did here. So you can see here, his primary thing is uh, of making money is all right here in digital courses. Moving on to case study number three. Oh, I did this out of order again. So, so apologies to my editor. <laughs> so Jake, sorry about this, but we'll, uh, we'll go back. Um, so I'm doing this out of order. So you'll have to edit that last bit together with this. Um, here we go. Here's an example of some of the trainings that Ben sells. And you can see it right here on his website. These are all the different courses. And you can see here's a free course, but he's got courses for all the way from free to 99 to $199. Um, so it's a great strategy. And now you see living proof here as to why I recommend this so much. <laughs> oh, and I sneezed to edit out and now we're going to move on and I'm going to do a retake here of our third case study. Now, case study number three is all about someone named Parker Worth, who launched his first $22,000 course. It was a really interesting case study. Well, let's take a look. So this is courtesy of First Class Founders, who has an interesting newsletter on Beehive, but they did a case study um, about Parker. And we can see here a little bit of details about his case study, but let's get into it. Parker went from a high school dropout to a with a troubled past to a $22,000 course launch. So he had this to say about his past. He said, I have no direct, or now they're editing here. We'll note to editor, we'll tweak this. He said, I had no direction. I wasn't interested in school. And yeah, I just pretty much was like scraping parking lots for change, eating chicken fingers out of garbage cans, and it was rough. Now, obviously, you can see he's going through better days, and I'm sure Parker is a lot happier now that uh, he launched this and made 22 grand just with the launch, and it's a course about storytelling. So uh, instead of scraping parking lots for change, he went on to create his course, and he, he used this six-step process, by the way. So we're going to cover this. He has a six-step process that he used 
for creating his course. And um, let, let's go through it here. Step one, identify the exact language, the, meaning the kind of words that people use and the way they communicate uh, about their problems in your niche. Step two is to use that language that you learn about how your audience talks about their problems. So you might survey people or ask people and find out more about how do they actually speak about their problems. And now step three, you create a product that solves these problems or provides some help to achieve their goals. And you do that in, again, using that same language. You look for the key things they say, and what they're looking for, and you use that to create your course, which goes to step four, which is to beta test the product. So you get a small group of customers and you give, maybe you give it away for free or at a big discount to get some feedback from them so that you can now improve your product. So it's a beta, so you can get feedback, make the product even better, which takes us on to step five, which is to hype up the product like there's no tomorrow, meaning just spread the word everywhere, tell everyone. And then moving on to step six, which was to rely on friends and associates and people that you can get to support and promote you for your launch. Now, the crazy thing is at the time he launched his course on storytelling, he had a little newsletter. He had been working to build a newsletter. He had about 500 subscribers on his newsletter um, before he actually got started. So he was starting from, you know, again, very small um, he didn't have courses. He, he didn't have tons of experience. He just had a tiny little newsletter. And here's what he had to say about launching from that. He said, I wanted to monetize and I didn't know exactly what to do. So I was like, I'm just going to launch a product. Just hail Mary and see what happens. And it was funny. I only had like 500 newsletter subscribers. And it was like, I know I talk to friends and they're like, yeah, you don't have a lot of subs. Don't expect five figures or anything like that. Okay. So he proved them wrong. He went on to launch his product and be quite successful. Now, I'll try to do this in order. Note for editor, you can clean this up a bit. Here's Parker's website where he goes over this. It looks like a pretty interesting uh, thing. So you can head over here. This is a... Um, parkerworth.ck.page, and you can learn more about Parker and uh, find out more if you're interested in storytelling and how to write and craft a good story, be a great place to go. But that's, that's Parker's business. And moving on to case study number four, that is Miss Excel. And Miss Excel has made over $2 million dollars selling courses on, you guessed it, how to use Microsoft Excel. So it doesn't even have to use her own name. So she's just put a pen name as Miss Excel, uh, otherwise known as Kat Norton. So she's been able to pull in over $2 million a year, much as $2 million, that's 2 million a year selling courses on how to use Microsoft Excel. Now her story is super interesting because she was able to grow her audience fast. So what she did is she leveraged TikTok. So she used TikTok to launch and grow her business. Now, just on being on TikTok, just her third week on the platform, she hit over 100,000 subscribers, like rocket ship to success. Now, her 20th video on the channel got 3.6 million views. This gives you an idea of what how it can go. Things can take off like this. And it, there are so many success stories like this in social media where it's like striking at the right time, the right place, maybe even a little bit of luck, and then boom, you see this massive success. Now, her story definitely isn't typical, but it does go to show you how short form content, like on platforms like TikTok and also Instagram and even YouTube now, if you do it right, you can get a massive audience much faster than you can on other platforms. Like here on YouTube, where I'm starting to build an audience, it's a slow grind. So doing long form content takes a lot of time, commitment, a lot of effort, but perhaps on short form, if you wanna use TikTok and Instagram and places like that, you can get massive audience growth. But what's even more interesting is how she used webinars to sell her courses to people. 
Uh, in fact, one of her webinars was able to bring in over $100,000 in just one day. I think a lot of people think that internet marketers and the gurus out there who do webinars are the only ones making money. Well, this shows that that's absolutely not true. So she made $100,000 on one single webinar about how to use Microsoft Excel. Crazy. Now, I really like this part of her story because, of course, I'm a huge fan of webinars. I've used it myself to make tens of millions of dollars. They're an amazing way to sell your digital products. But that's a story for another day. Maybe we'll do some training on the channel about how to craft a winning webinar. We'll see. If that's something that's interesting to you, drop me a comment below. Would you like to learn how to craft a winning webinar to sell products like this? If there's enough interest, enough comments on the channel, then we'll, we'll add that to our content lineup. Moving on to our fifth and final case study of the day. Um, that is how to make a $300,000 a year with a blog and a course. Um, oh, and did I... Okay, I didn't show <laughs> lots of editors, lots of notes for editors today. I did not show Kat's case study. So you can cut in some footage of this case study on top of me talking. And then here's Miss Excel's website. So she's now turned this into, you know, this is now a multi-million dollar brand. That's quite a success story. Oh, it helps if I showed it. Let me actually show it. So you guys watching me. So this is her site. You know, this is her case study from Growth in Reverse. And, uh, and this is incredible, really, if you think about it. She just went from jumping on TikTok and teaching people about Excel to a multi-million dollar brand. Like, that's so impressive. Okay, moving on. So this is uh, uh, courtesy of Scott Max. This is a case study that he did. Um, and this is all about Lauren, who uh, is doing 300000 a year from a blog. And so we'll talk about this. So um, last year, Lauren, who's a former tax accountant, she raked in almost $400,000 from her blog. Her blog is all about how to launch a blog. So she got a blog about how to blog. And the income from her blog comes from a combination. She does affiliate marketing and she has courses to sell. But what's most impressive about her brand is that she's been able to build her list to over 100,000 subscribers using a free course that she built and gives away. So this is a strategy that we've talked about quite a lot on the channel um, and is something that is incredibly valuable as a business model. And that is giving away courses for free or at a low price to attract subscribers and leads and then sell more stuff to that audience. And you can see she did this exceptionally well to the tune of making six figures a year just from a blog about how to blog. It's kind of kind of meta there, but uh, but that's what she did. Um, and it goes to the credit of how powerful this strategy really is. So let's uh, take another look. So here is her site and you can see here, she is selling a course about how to blog. And so it's a, through her, it's a combination of selling paid courses and giving away free courses. So you can see here, she has a variety of different courses that she sells, uh, including she has this discounted blender, uh, blender bundle. So here's a, a bundle of courses that she sells about how to blog with all of that that comes included. And so you can see here, this is a higher ticket one. This is a bundle of all her stuff for $7.97. Okay? But that's not the only course. You can see here that there are other ones. Uh, like here's one about driving traffic with Pinterest, which is a topic I'm very interested in. So this is her course about that. And let's see how much that is. That's $197. So, and then she has, of course, her, her free courses on top of that. And so what I do is I recommend you create courses as a core part of your business model. Whether you're using a course as a lead magnet so you can attract leads and subscribers and get them to join your list so you can sell them more stuff. 
whether your business is selling physical products, selling services, maybe you're a marketing agency, whatever it might be, you need a course, you really do. And so I recommend giving it away for free. And then on top of that, you can sell more courses to that same audience like you see Lauren doing in this case study. Now, if you need help building and creating courses, that's where I come in. I can actually help you with that. So in addition to lots of training on my channel, you can follow the channel, subscribe to the channel down below, go check out a lot of the training. And I teach a lot about how to use AI to make courses and to build websites and to do what Lauren did. But I also have a push button solution. That's called push button AI. And so if that's something you are interested in, it can literally create your courses, launch your website, it will launch your shopping cart, write your sales pages, everything that you saw that Lauren has there to have her in business, it will make for you. You just answer two questions, you tap a button and off you go. And the system will build it all. It'll help you register a great domain name, launch your business, and then you can choose to either give that course away for free or charge money for it. But it takes all the difficult stuff, the stuff that used to cost $10,000 to get a professional course created, design your sales pages, set up your website, do all the tech stuff, buy the plugins and the themes and get it all going. It does all of that for you, literally at the push of a button. If you'd like to get a demo, uh, right now, Push Button AI at the time of recording this is closed to the public but we will give you a demo and possibly invite you in. If it's a good fit, if it's a tool that you think you can use to help you build your first business or grow your existing business, we'll invite you in and you can get a chance to join our early access program. But you'll need to go now. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to get your free demo. Now, when you go there, you'll need to put in your name and email, on the next page, you'll need to schedule your appointment. Make sure you schedule your appointment in the calendar. We'll jump on Zoom. We'll do a live demo. We'll even help you figure out if you're not sure what kind of course to make or what niche to go into, we'll help you with that. And as a free gift for showing up to the demo and going through it, we'll create a complimentary marketing plan and give it to you, personalized for you. It'll show you exactly what to do to launch your new business and to get the maximum amount of traffic and sales flooding in the door. It's totally free, my gift for saying thanks for joining us and doing a demo. Again, to get that, go to pushbutton.ai slash demo. You put in your name and email, make sure on the second page, you click and book your appointment. You must book in the calendar in order to get that demo and the free marketing plan that we're going to create for you. And I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, make sure you tap the subscribe and the like button you'll see down there. We release content like this all week long. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video. Bye for now. Okay, live audience, we are going to do Q&A. So um, let's uh, do that in just a moment. I am gonna take a very quick commercial break. I get to rest my voice for just a moment. And then we'll be right back with all of your questions. Uh, but first, a commercial break. I'll see you in a minute. If you're not yet a member of Push Button AI, then what are you doing? So I would like to invite you to a free masterclass. We're gonna be covering in detail how to create an entire digital online course, an entire business, in fact, that can be set up 100% using AI. And if you'd like to attend that free masterclass, what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over right now to pushbutton.ai slash free class. In that class, I'm gonna show you how we can help two different kinds of people. Number one, if you've got a business and you want to add training, courses, or information to your existing business as a new profit center, or maybe a way to add value to your customers, then I'm gonna show you how to do a detailed 10 module training course, including 50 to 60,000 words of content, have it set up and built for you by AI. Also, if you're trying to start your first business online and you're looking for a great business model to make some money online, then Push Button AI is the right solution. And I'll show you how you can use this amazing tool to build an entire business like that. In a snap, Push Button AI will build an entire course for you, create video training, audio training, write your sales page for you, write 30 days of emails for you, create your logo, build your website, set up your shopping cart, set the entire thing up, 
create a members area so that people can pay you to get access to the course and you get to charge money and keep all the profits. It's quite easy. You answer two questions and you hit a button and it literally does everything for you. A logo, a 30 day email sequence, your sales pages for selling your product. It creates the entire training course that you can charge money for. It installs your website, sets up your hosting, launches your site. It even helps you pick the perfect domain name all powered by AI, you just literally log in and start up your brand new business. So attend the free masterclass. I'll show you a live demo of how it works. I'll explain the entire business model so you can see exactly how does it work and how do you profit. That's pushbutton.ai slash free class. Don't forget, hit the subscribe button. You'll see it down below the video down there somewhere. Hit subscribe hit the like button and actually we'll make sure that you're notified next time that we go live. We release content all throughout the week, by the way. So we have videos on additional strategies and tactics. We'll be dropping to you all week long. Check out all of our useful content. Head over to pushbutton.ai slash free class. If you're not yet a customer, every paying customer, we're gonna be taking today's training. We'll take all the prompts, all the resources, everything that you need to use it, and we're gonna put it in your paid members area. So you'll see it in your AI profits course inside your members area. On that note, I'll see you there. Bye for now. All right, so present time bill is here. So that was me recorded long ago. But um, yeah, I wanted to uh, let you know that class is literally in an hour. So we're gonna do that in one hour from now. Uh, you do have to register for it. It's not done here on YouTube, so you'll have to register to do that. Go to that link that was put there. I think it's also pinned in the comments, uh, pushbutton.ai slash free class. And um, uh, yeah, we'll be there in an hour. And I'll, uh, I'm going to go over the entire model of how you make courses to make profit, um, which is very what we've been talking about most of today in, in the, today's content. Um, and then we open up the early access program uh, during that webinar. So if you are interested in all of that and interested in push button AI, we'll do a, we do a live demo during the master class and, um, and then we open up the early access program. So um, that's how you can jump in and join us. And uh, with that, we're going to do your questions. So producer Nick, did we have any questions? No questions to touch on. But uh, when you had now mentioned doing funny. trading, oh no, it's a catastrophe. <laughs> that's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, what was, oh, right. You mentioned doing training on webinars and you asked uh, our audience what they thought. And a handful of people said they would be interested. They would like that. So thought I'd share that with you. Okay, awesome, awesome. Well, at this point, if you can uh, pop whatever questions you've got on any topic at all, anything that I can do to help you grow your business or start your first business, it's all about helping entrepreneurs like you and I get better and better results and succeed online. So that's the entire mission of why we do these live shows and why I'm here in the first place. So pop those questions in now. Um, and uh, otherwise, we're going to wrap things up in a moment. And uh, while you guys all have a moment to pop those questions in, we'll do one last dad joke. Let's see what we're going to get. I'm asking, I'm asking chat GPT for one right now. And let's find out what we get. <laughs> oh, come on. Why does it, why did it, okay, it didn't tell me a joke. We'll try this again. It helps when ChatGPT cooperates. There we go. <laughs> okay, here we go. <clears throat> I only know 25 letters of the alphabet. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. <laughs> okay, enough dad jokes. Um, so on that note, were there any other questions before we wrap up for the day? Nope. Okay. Then on that note, we will wrap things up. So I do want to remind everybody about the free uh, web class. So we're going to do a talk about webinars. We're doing a webinar 
uh, in an hour. And to register for it, you must register to attend it. It's not going to be here on YouTube. So you can go to pushbutton.ai slash free class. Um, it starts in an hour. Uh, you don't want to miss it. It's really, really good. It talks about um, how to use AI to create profitable course businesses like we were talking about today. So it's the content is all about how to do that. And then it dives into the push button AI system. So we'll show you the system. I do a live demo on screen and, um, and then uh, uh, you get a chance to, uh, to join our early access program if it seems uh, right for you. Uh, so uh, with that, we will be uh, uh, wrapping things up. I wanna thank you for being part of yet another live show. And if you're not yet a subscriber, subscribe. See that down below and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Do you know you can now launch your own online business with the click of a mouse? Sounds crazy, right? Guess what? It's now possible thanks to our game-changing AI software that's helping beginners build a successful online business. If you have tried and failed at building an online business or you've got no idea where to start, there is good news for you. We are entering a new exciting era of AI, and I'm here to teach you how to use it to build and grow an online business. Because I'm handing you a blueprint, a business in a box powered by AI, and it's called Push Button AI. Imagine a tool so smart it does all the heavy lifting for you. Builds an info product business, sets up hosting, launches the website, and even crafts engaging email sequences. Here's the thing. This isn't like anything else out there, and this is based on what's working right now. Push Button AI is based on my experience of generating over $100 million over the last 20 years and helping over 81,942 customers build and grow their own online businesses. If you'd like to find out more about this, Register now and dive into my free live demo to uncover strategies and traffic tricks that will pivot your business and skyrocket your online business from surviving to thriving. Imagine what your life would look like today if you bought Bitcoin when it was dollar one. You now have the same opportunity with push button AI since nobody else is doing this. Don't miss out this time. Presence. Celebrities or characters in this video are all fake and generated by artificial intelligence. You know, the other day while I was uh, resting my eyes, I woke up to find that I'd built an entire online business. Really, Joe? How'd you manage to do that? Well, uh, you, you see, you, uh, I... Uh, Wait a minute, Sleepy Joe. Let me guess. You had push button AI do all the work, didn't you? That's right, Donald. It found me a fantastic domain name, built out a complete site, set up my shopping cart so I can get paid, and even wrote an entire email sales campaign for me, all while I was napping. Well, I've been using push button AI too. And believe me, my new business, it's huge, the best, so much winning, you wouldn't believe. This push button AI sounds phenomenal. Oh, it is. It's almost as genius as I am. But with better hair, no doubt. Guys, guys, all this talk is boring to me. What everyone needs to do is click the link of this video and go to the masterclass to see how to use this powerful technology to build their own profitable online business. Well, if Elon says it, it must be worth a shot. You're right, Barry. Everyone should click the link right now. I can't believe I'm going to agree with Joe, but this masterclass sounds like it's going to be huge. Absolutely terrific. The best masterclass ever given, probably. OK, guys, how about we hit that link? Time is money. Those of you who are not yet a push button AI customer, then you need to check this out. And all you need to do is go to pushbutton.ai slash demo, pushbutton.ai slash demo, and you can get a live one-on-one -on -one appointment to get on Zoom and see this powerful technology in action. And with Push Button AI, it will build an entire business from bottom to top, everything you need from your domain name to your logo, to videos, to audio lessons, an entire course that you can sell as your own, a 30 day email sequence that it writes. You can send a daily email for 30 days, all written by AI and a whole lot more. It writes your sales page. If you're not sure how to write an expert sales page to convince people to buy stuff, 
it writes it for you. It writes a free report that you can give away to get subscribers to your list. It even creates and writes the opt-in subscription page to get people to subscribe to get the free report. And it goes on and on and on. It even writes your first 10 blog posts for you and it can do so much more. Social media posts, ads, all of these things are done and all you have to do is answer a couple of questions and push a button. Now, push button AI is not available to the public at the time of recording this video. And the only way to get in is by invite to our behind the scenes beta access. And during your live demo, we'll show you the technology. We'll actually work with you to actually map out an entire course that you could sell as your own. We'll outline the course with you together on the one-on-one -on -one Zoom call. And then if you so decide, if you're a good fit, you can come in, join our Push Button AI beta program and be in business with that very course by the next day. Go to pushbutton.ai slash demo to figure out if this powerful technology is right for you. You can register there. there. You'll book an appointment in the calendar. Be sure you show up. Our team will be very excited to meet you and show you how the tech works, outline your new course for you, and hopefully it's a fit and we can work together to launch your next business. Bill McIntosh teaches AI non-stop. Success is his game, marketing's his fame. McIntosh, the marketing ace, follow his lead to the winning place with AI McCullough Spin. Join him now, learn to win. Learn his way, don't delay. If you do, you'll make your fortune today.